Well, you probably heard there will be an annual solar eclipse coming up on the 14th, and you're asking me what's an annular compared to a total? Well, they're similar in one way. They both occur when the moon passes between the Earth and the Sun. They usually occur during the new moon or the full moon phases. But there, is, there are a couple of differences with this, and it has to do with how far away the moon is from the Earth. Now, if you've heard me do astronomy videos before, you've heard me say the uh, moon's orbit around the Earth isn't a perfect circle. It's actually a list where it comes closer and further away at times. And if, as a result, the distance varies. Now, during a total eclipse, usually it's closer to the Earth, what is called perigee, just a fancy way of saying that. But this time, it'll be closer to apogee, which is further away. So it won't completely cover the moon. However, it will appear as kind of a ring of fire, where most of it's blacked out. But right around the edges of it, you will be seeing kind of a ring of uh, light around it. That'll be in the area totality. So if you want to view this across uh, western central Wyoming, it begins between about 9.10 and 9.15. It depends on where you are. Further west you go, the earlier it's going to start. It'll peak around 10.30 and then end right around noon. Now, much like the eclipse back in 2017, the solar eclipse, you are going to need some eye protection for this. So eclipse glasses, you have a number 16 welding helmet that works as well. Number 16 welding goggles need something dark. Sunglasses don't work. And do not look at the sun without proper eye protection. I emphasize, do not look directly at the sun. Serious and permanent eye damage will occur, and you only get one set of these. So you do not want to go through life with that. So as we take a look at the uh, map of the eclipse, where the totality is going to be, it'll start here across Oregon, then work its way across Elko, Nevada, southern portions of Utah, down here across Albuquerque and New Mexico. Texas will be a good place to see it if you want to see maximum. Basically Midland down towards San Antonio, Austin, and down toward Corpus Christi. This track right here is the uh, total eclipse that will be occurring in April of 2024. But around our area, it's not going to be total here. We will see a good portion of it covered, though. Obviously, the highest amounts down here across southwestern portions, Evanston, Rock Springs, about 80%. But the entire area should see between about 70 and 80 percent no matter where you are. So if you can get out and take a look at this, these don't occur very often. And hopefully we'll have uh, clear skies for this. Again, we can't predict the sky coverage more than two weeks away when I'm making this. So if you have a chance to go out and view it, get out there.